Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video is going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to do a progression video and my top drills to get your very first pull up. We did something similar a couple of months ago now with the pistol squat. So I'm going to be doing pretty much the same kind of video, just going through my favorite drills and giving you guys some cues and insight into those specific drills to be able to get your very first pull up. So let's get going. Very first exercise that we're going to do, which is a drill, but also a warm up for any kind of pull up, lat pull down, anything like that is a scap pull up. So basically what we're doing is we're going to go into a dead hang position and we're going to contract through the lats pull our scaps in. We're really trying to close the gap between both our left and right scapula. We're trying to squeeze that in and then come back down to relaxing point. The way that I try and teach people to do this is that basically we're going from our dead hang hold and we're bringing our chest up, squeezing our back down and then coming back up. So you'll see the movement in a second when I do it. I'm really trying to open up through the chest, squeeze down in the lats and then relaxing back down. Right, second exercise we're going to be doing, if you guys have this set up, you can do it pretty easily. We're gonna be using the lat pull down. If you don't have this set up, you can actually grab a power band or any kind of resistance band, chuck it over a ledge, a bar, anything that you have at the top. And I'll show you how to do that for an at-home version in a second. But first things first, we'll do our lat pull down. Just going to drop down to a preferred weight. So what we wanna focus on mostly is a little bit of a lean back just so we can engage through the lats. Then we're going to do almost that scap pull, pull back, just lock the lats in and then come down with the elbows to the chest. Third and fourth exercises are both just gonna be some basic holds, static holds. So we're gonna do a dead hang hold as well as a front support hold. Pretty much all we're doing is just building up time under tension in that position using our upper body and using the main parts of our upper body that will help us get our pull up. So using that area of strength so that we can extend that out to other exercises such as a pull up, such as handstands, such as anything else you wanna add on. So, First thing, just a dead hang hold, so we're extending through the lats, allowing ourselves to drop right through, just holding for your max time. So that's basically what we're trying to do, is trying to get our max time here. As you can see, my lats are completely extended, my shoulders, the ears, there's no gap between my shoulders and my ears and my neck. Alrighty. So we're gonna go straight into our front support hold. So what we do for our front support, hands shoulder width apart, shoulders are on top of our hands, punching through our stomach, lowering our bum down to the ground and really trying to push this lower back outwards. We don't want it to sink in, so we don't want it to look like that. That's not gonna do anything for us. We really wanna make sure that we have that pelvic rotation. We're pushing down, squeezing through the core, Again, shoulders are on top of our hands and we're holding this position. So for the next two exercises, you guys can actually switch up what order you wanna do based on your preference. So very first thing is a banded pull up. We're gonna use a resistance band to help us with that adjustment of you know your weight compared to the actual pull up itself. And then the second thing is a negative pull up. So we're going to jump up to a bar using a box 
and control our negative pull up all the way down to our basing starting point. So you can switch up the order of these depending on what your preference is, what you think is harder, what you think is easier. We can go through them, but I'm gonna show you both anyway so you can have a look. So, banded pull ups. I have two different resistances here. The less experience you have with performing a pull up and the less strength that you have for this skill, the thicker you're gonna need. So make sure to keep that in mind when you aren't doing your pull ups. I'm going to wrap this one round. So throw it over, thread it through, and we're going to place one of our foots in the band. I usually only put one in the whole time just because I feel like I can wrap the other leg around. It's a lot easier for me to get in and out of, but a lot of people do actually put both feet in the band. So whatever's more comfortable for you, you do that. I'm gonna jump up and we're gonna perform the pull up here now. So just before I get into it, I'm gonna quickly run through how I personally think when I'm doing my pull up. So initially I'm in my dead hang, which we obviously did before. I'm going to do my scat pull, I'm going to engage my scats. Then I'm gonna pull the bar to my chest. That's the direction that I wanna go, bar to chest. And then I come back down and release all the way down to our full extension. I do not wanna see half reps. If you are not going all the way down to your full extension, you are not doing a full rep of a pull up. And therefore you are not actually increasing your strength in end of range motion. So make sure you're keeping that in mind. All right, let's do this. So dead hang. We're currently in our dead hang. We're gonna engage the scaps, pull up to the chest, back down to full extension. Engage the scaps, pull up to chest, down to full extension. Scaps, chest, full extension. So as you can see, the band helps me with that weight. I will show you what it's like if I use the thicker band just so you can see the difference in resistance. And you know, I would still use the thicker band if I was doing high reps. However, if I'm wanting anywhere between seven to 10 reps, I'm gonna use this because it's gonna challenge me. And then this one's going to be anything more than that. Alrighty. Let's swap it over, flip it over, thread it through, and put the foot down. So you guys can see, it's a lot easier to do the reps with the thicker band. It kind of takes off more weight in your body weight to actually do the exercise, which is why it helps more. But I would prefer to go lighter and lighter and lighter until I'm doing it myself, rather than just to constantly be doing high reps with the thick band. There is a time and a place for doing this, but I think if you're wanting to get your first pull up at body weight, you wanna be trying to lessen and lessen your resistance bands as you go. All right, let's go into our negative pull ups. All right, so negative pull ups. Basically what we're going to do is set ourselves up on a bench or a box right underneath our bar height. We're going to jump up to our the top of our pull up hold and we're going to slowly, slowly come down. The thing that I struggle with the most when I do negative pull ups is actually seeing the indifference between my left and my right lat and what's working most. So I make sure that if I am in front of a mirror, I'm looking out for the indifferences between each side. If I'm favoring one side, if one side's lacking, that's something you can actually keep track of when you are doing these exercises, especially if you're in front of a mirror. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to top up onto the box or the bench. Arms are up, I'm gonna jump up to the pull up and slowly work my way down. All the way to extension and then come down. I'm gonna do it one more time and you're gonna see you actually control the speed of which you drop. So if you have a more controlled, you have more strength in this exercise, you have a more controlled way of doing it, you're going to be a lot slower with the movement. But if you don't have that strength yet, you will be a little bit faster. The idea though is just to get as slow as possible. If you're not even at this point right now, you can do the exact same thing with the band. So you can use the banded, pretty much the same setup as the banded pull up, but instead you're going to jump straight up to the bar and then follow it down with you. And it's going to have that resistance of the band. I would prefer you guys to obviously try the body weight one first, but if that's need be, you can jump to that exercise as well. So we'll do one more and you guys can see. From here, I'm jumping up to my top pull up exercise and slow. Looking at each side, am I favoring anything? Extension, down. 
That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed those drills. If you want any more information regarding coaching or you even want some programming, make sure you check out my programs on Move With Us because that is where I actually put my coaching and my programming to use for you guys, for the public. Um, to get in, get moving, change your movement style, make sure you're being more of an all-rounder athlete rather than a one-show pony, you know what I'm saying? But I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're adding these exercises into your upper body days to see the difference and to work on those pull-ups. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next YouTube video.